So we are being advised that uh, the recovery team is radioing out to the vessels in the water near Crew Dragon to vacate the area uh, so that we're able to extract Bob and Doug safely. Uh, you know, also for the safety of those folks in the area as well, not just Bob and Doug. Yeah, this is, this is obviously a dynamic operation. One of the first things we do is make sure there aren't essentially poisonous fumes around the capsule. So uh, something like this just really can endanger the whole thing, endanger the crew members and endanger themselves. So uh, the SpaceX team is moving in to try and get them away so they can safely recover the Dragon capsule and get Bob and Doug on deck and safely inside their medical quarters. So. We can see them, they're getting a lot closer. Uh, we expect uh, about 10 minutes or so until they should be in position. Uh, all the rigging has been affixed on the Dragon capsule. And once they arrive, they'll be able to use that hydraulic lift to get Dragon up and out of the water. We're ready, thank you. All right, so the crew was just told in about 30, in the next 30 seconds, they have the lines affixed, so they're gonna start lifting the capsule up out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so then now- that A-frame is gonna start swinging it back and it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. So there we're getting a better shot of all the points in which Dragon is tethered to the hydraulic lift, ensuring that it isn't swinging freely. And there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. Be happy, thank you. And there we see Dragon moving forward. Look at that. Smooth as a Tesla, I would say. <laughs> it's really interesting to see those scorching marks uh, now that we get a really nice up close detail shot of Dragon. Standing by for the go for side hatch open. That rounded square there in the center of the capsule is that side hatch. And on either side are those oval windows. Dragon SpaceX, stand by for side hatch opening and egress. Happy, we're ready. All right, crew got the call. We are go for hatch open. And Dragon SpaceX, we've got a slight delay due to some uh, potential NTO hits near the side hatch. Captain Mike, we're uh, standing by. And so they're still continuing to do kind of those sniffs, so checking for any vapors or anything. So those NDO, it's uh, NO2 nitrogen dioxide, uh, primarily can uh, get detected in the air from the burning of fuel. So they're going to continue to just inspect around the capsule, make sure that it's Again, safe for the crew, safe for the recovery experts uh, before they get this hatch open. So again, the SpaceX engineers detecting uh, levels of NTO. It's dinitrogen tetraoxide. It's one of the hypergolic fuels used inside the Dragon spacecraft. Um, levels higher than they would like. Um, so they're essentially doing a purge to help 
uh, dissipate any vapors in and around the service section where those fuel tanks reside in the Dragon capsule. We're expecting that to take within the next five minutes or so. SpaceX Dragon with a status. Go ahead, Doug. Okay, for uh, NO2 on detector two, it reads 0.0. .0. And on detector three, it also reads at 0, 0.0 for MMH. Okay, great news. 0, 0.0 for detectors two and three for NO2 and MMH. Thank you very much. That's a good copy. And so Doug Hurley reporting zeros across the board, no traces uh, of either the NTO or the MMH. So this hatch will be manually opened, and once doing so, flight surgeon Neil Menon will uh, say hello and make sure that they're still doing all right, and then proceed to assist them with exiting the capsule. And we see the hatch is now open. Hatch being opened at 12.59 p.m. Pacific is open. Just a quick comm check there between Dragon and Mission Control and here. And Solo from the PLT, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, bringing us home safe before we, uh, I disembark from the ship Endeavor. I'm sure Doug will have some good words for you guys as well, but uh, thank you for doing the most difficult parts and the most impart, important parts of uh, human space flight, getting us into orbit and bringing us home safely. Thank you again for the good ship endeavor. Thank you, Bob, for those awesome words. It's, it's absolutely been an honor and a pleasure to work with you from the entire SpaceX team. It's been awesome. Again, the recovery team. SpaceX Dragon from the commander. Go for SpaceX. Here we have our first view of yeah, Doug Mike, Hurley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be a small part of this whole effort to get the, a company of people to and from the space station. They can celebrate with each other. We see you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks so much, Doug, and you're welcome. And, and thank you so much for those kind words. And we all wish you a safe journey home and a happy reunion with your family soon. And we look forward to seeing you in person as well. All right, so they're getting set up, and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. And there we go, another thumbs up. We've got some applause here. And as you can see in Mission Control, a standing <laughs> ovation for a job well done all around.